So far, in our video tutorial series, we've covered the basics of the KnifePrint Editor's user interface, and also covered some of the KnifePrint Editor design fundamentals. In this third video, we'll look at the different tools available to use in the KnifePrint Editor. There are six tools available for use in the KnifePrint Editor. Select, Drill, Bezier, Eraser, Measure, and Move. The icons for all of the editor's tools can be found just to the left of the drawing area. Let's take a look at how to use each of the tools. The Select tool is what you will use if you want to change the shape and or size of your knife. It also allows you to add, delete and move nodes. Upon activating the Select tool, you'll notice that additional control options appear in the toolbar above the drawing area. Separate handles, symmetric handles, smooth handles, angle, and delete. These are what you will use to modify your paths and nodes after they are selected. Snap to grid and snap to node are also shown. They are shortcuts to editor settings. Hovering the cursor over any path on the knife will highlight it along with all of its nodes. Click anywhere on the path to select it and it will then remain highlighted along with all of its nodes. Clicking on a node will select it and display its handles as well. You can then use the additional control options to change the node state and edit its handles. To deselect the paths and nodes, simply click anywhere outside of the paths and nodes. By default, only one node can be selected at a time. To select multiple nodes at once, hold down the control key to select as many nodes as you'd like, or simply hold down the left mouse button and drag a window around the desired nodes. When multiple nodes are selected, any commands issued apply to all of them. You can move them around by clicking and dragging any of the selected nodes. The delete option will also work the same way and delete all selected nodes. To deselect a node, click on it with control pressed. Clicking anywhere without pressing control will deselect all selected nodes. When nodes are selected, you are able to change their state and subsequently modify their handles, like we covered in the second video of our series. New nodes can be added to a selected path by double-clicking on the path at the point you wish to add the node. To move a node, simply click and hold on the node and then drag your cursor where you want to move it. The same can be done with the node's handles. To delete a node, you can either press and hold the Shift key and click the node you would like to delete, or you can highlight the node you want to delete and select the Delete Option icon from the toolbar above the drawing area. Similarly, you can delete a node's handles by first selecting the node to highlight its associated handles, and then press and hold the Shift key and click on the handle you would like to delete. An alternate method to delete a handle is to drag it towards its node. The drill tool is what you use to draw drill holes in your knife. A drill hole in Knife Print Editor is a circle path with four nodes. Upon activating the drill tool, you'll notice that three additional control options appear above the drawing area. Diameter, which allows you to specify the diameter of the hole, and Snap to Grid and Snap, which enable or disable the snap functions of the drill holes. As mentioned previously, these are also shortcuts to the editor's settings. To add a drill hole, left-click and hold where you want to place the centre of the hole, and drag the mouse to draw the hole to your desired size. You can change the diameter of the drill hole by selecting it and typing in the new value in the Diameter field in the toolbar above the drawing area. This can also be done through the Context menu. 
You can move a hole by left-clicking, holding and dragging the mouse. Right-clicking after a drill hole is selected will activate the context menu and allow you to copy, delete or change diameter as well. The Subtract and Combine options will be explained in an advanced course. Multiple drill holes can be selected by holding down the control key and selecting as many holes as you would like. When multiple holes are selected, any action that you select will apply to all of the selected holes simultaneously. The Bezier tool allows you to create multiple node paths from one path to another. This is useful when creating the size and location of your blade bevel. The start and end of the Bezier lines will automatically snap to any other paths of the knife. While you can only draw straight paths with a Bezier tool, you can revise the draw paths with the Select tool afterwards. The Bezier tool is also used to trace the outline of a knife profile to create a new project, as shown in the previous video. To create a path with the Bezier tool, left-click anywhere on your existing path to create the first node, and then continue clicking either on another part of the path or any empty space to create additional nodes. Simply double left click to complete the path or right click to cancel your path. The eraser tool is used to delete any existing path or drill hole, with the exception of the original outline of the knife template. To delete objects, activate the eraser tool and click the object you want to delete, or just click and hold the mouse button while dragging the cursor over the items you wish to delete. The Measure tool is used to measure distances from one point on the knife to another, as well as identifying any distances of features in between those two points. You can also measure individual features of your knife design. To measure a distance between two points, click and hold on the first point and then drag the mouse to the other point. This will also identify all the pertinent measurements between those two points. Hovering your mouse over a specific path or drill hole will show the measurements of that feature's height and width. To show all the measurements associated with your knife design, just click and hold anywhere on the canvas and the dimensions of every path and drill hole will be displayed. The Move tool lets you move your entire knife template around and place it on any area of the canvas. To do so, click and drag to move the knife template to your desired location. You can also activate the Move tool by pressing and holding the mouse wheel. This is useful to re-centre the knife after you have zoomed in or out.